All right, we're gonna do the side and rear of the tractor, which will be four and B. I'm gonna check my door. My door opens and closes properly. It's not cracked or broken. All hardware's present. I'm gonna check my door hinges. They're not cracked or broken. They're properly secured. All hardware's present. I'm gonna check my weather, my rubber seal, or my weather stripping around my door. I make sure it's not ripped, torn, frayed, or dry rotted, and it's properly secured. Then I'm gonna check my mirror mount. My mirror mount is not cracked or broken. It's properly secured. My hardware's present. Then I check my mirror itself. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. It's properly secured. It's properly adjusted to me, and there's no legal stickers obstructing my view. Next, I'm gonna check my turn signal lights and reflectors. I make sure they're amber in color, red to the rear. They're not cracked or broken. There's no moisture on the inside, and it's properly secured. Then I'm gonna check my entry steps and my catwalk steps. I make sure they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly secured, and there's no foreign objects like oil or grease that can cause me to slip and fall. Then I move on to my fuel tank and cap. I make sure they're properly secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, and they're not leaking any fuel. Then I'm gonna come all the way back here and double check my fuel lines to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. They're secured on all ends and they're not leaking any fuel. Next, I'm gonna check my frame and cross members. I'm gonna check my frame to the front end all the way to the rear. I'm gonna check my cross members to make sure they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly secured and there's no illegal welds. Then I'm gonna go to my drive shaft and my U-joints. My drive shaft is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly secured and there's no foreign objects obstructing my drive shaft. And I check my U-joints to make sure they're properly lubricated and they're not cracked, bent, or broken. Then I go to my brake system for my rear axle. I check my brake chambers and my C-clamp to make sure they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly secured, all hardware's present, and they're not leaking any air. Then I check my brake chamber airline hose to make sure they're secured on all ends with the couplings and fittings. There's no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, and it's not leaking any air. Then I check my slack adjuster and push rod. I chalk the wheels, release my parking brakes. I make sure my slack adjuster and push rod are not cracked, bent, or broken. And I mark my push rod, pull on my slack adjuster, and make sure there's no more than an inch of play. Then I check my brake drum and linings. I make sure my brake drum is true around. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. And there's no oil or grease on my brake drum. Then I check my brake lining to make sure it's no less than a quarter of an inch and it's not cracked, bent, or broken and properly secured. Then I move on to my suspension. This is my leaf spring mount. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly secured. All hardware's present. This is my leaf springs. They're not cracked, bent, or broken, missing, or shifted, and they're properly secured. I also have my U bolts. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly secured, and all hardware's present. Then I have my shock absorbers. They're properly secured, they're not cracked, bent, or broken, and they're not leaking any fluid. Then, I move on to my airbags. My airbags, there are no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, and it's not leaking any air.